everyone so I'm here today to real quick show you some face-ups I finally completed um, they've been laying on my desk for so long and I feel so bad for that but finally they are done so I can move on to doing face-ups for my Anoa Lucis and my um, Kid Delph Nasca which I'm really really hyped to get <laughs> <laughs> get started on I can't wait but I really wanted them to be complete first and I'm very actually proud of them so I want to show them really quick we'll start with my only doll Teen Yoon my uh, character Maxie who actually if you remember oh god the light's so bad I'm sorry uh, <laughs> it's much later than I thought it would be anyway though if you remember from a previous video he had just had a fresh face up but the more I got to know his character, the more I realized that Face Up was just not him. So I ended up just one day getting real sick of it. And <laughs> I wiped it and gave him this one. I'm actually very proud of this one. And he's definitely going, going to keep it for a while. I want to take some really good pictures of it. But first of all, it's, it's late. And second of all, I he really, this wig is super poofy for some reason. So I really, 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 um want to either find him some sort of hat situation or make him one so that I can just feel better about taking pictures of him. I know it sounds silly, but I really want this to be his wig, but it just looks weird to me right now, so I need to fix it. <laughs> so yeah, there's my boy Maxi. Too bad the light is so gone, um, because he definitely is darker on camera, and now he's blurry. Well, that's actually a little better, but yeah, he's he's showing up darker on camera, but the blushing is a little bit lighter than what you see. And I was a little adventurous and put some on his forehead, and I actually gave him an extra layer of blushing, which I normally don't do, but I'm really liking it, and I'm glad I took the risk, even though I almost regretted it immediately and almost just completely wiped his face up. I'm glad I didn't because it worked out much better than I thought by the the end of it and now I, I'm super in love with it so I'm glad I did it. So that's hopefully you can get the gist of it with my <laughs> bad lighting and my non-cooperative camera. Next up is my doll zone Elsa who Pardon the fact she has no eyes. I am super sorry about that. I wanted to put eyes in her. I really did. But I have none that are in the color I want for her that will fit in her face. And I kind of don't want to put a different color in her. And I don't know why. I'm just being stubborn right now. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm being very stubborn. Anyway, <laughs> with her... She turned out much different than I was expecting. Part of the reason that she is she came out differently than expected is because um ooh, ooh, the light is trying so hard, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> the reason why she came out different than expected if it would focus is that um the wig I had in mind for her that I had bought when I bought her I didn't remember it being such a mess when I pulled out the wig it was such a mess that I literally just could not it was unusable and I don't know how to fix it there's probably ways but then I put this wig on her and I don't know I just really like it it's a um spite and malice wig that I had bought for my doll's own Greta and I actually really like it with her. I don't, I, I don't know why, but I just do. So I think she might keep it for a bit unless I can figure out a different situation. I always wanted her to, out of all the girls, my um, Anoa Lucis and my Fairyland Chloe, I really wanted her to have like a natural hair color. I wanted basically her makeup and how she dressed to be the focus of her character so 
I don't know. I actually really like this and how it go plays off her eyebrows. I made her eye makeup really dark and thick because she dresses in gothic Lilia style. So that's kind of how she does her makeup. And I figured I could get away with it. She is wearing um, blue, the bloomers I got from Carla Chan from the um, contest I won. And right now she's wearing a scarf over her nipples simply because... I did not want to wrestle a top onto her right now. <laughs> and she's also wearing like that the hair band thing that I also got from Carla Chan, which I am going to give to her. Actually, I don't know. I just really like this look for her and I think it'd be really cute with the Gothic Lolita dress that is hopefully on its way. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, you can tell me what you think. I do, I do really like it, but I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely different than what I had in mind for her. A little more edgy. I know it's not like ridiculously edgy, but it's more edgy than I had in mind for her character. But I think she pulls it off very well. I'm just glad to finally have her painted. I cannot even tell you, um, after basically neglecting her as I hate to put it but that's basically what happened after doing that to her it feels nice to finally have her somewhere <laughs> and eventually you know she'll have dress and her eyes which I hope are not too small um only after like actually painting her eyes did I realize that 12 millimeter might be too small if they are I mean I am willing to wait for bigger eyes, but I really do hope they fit. But, you know, once she's together in all of that, I, I will be completely, I, I'm just, I'm already over the moon with her already because it's funny, since I've been, you know, neglecting her, I haven't really, you know, played around too much with her and re realized her potential. Like, I love her, her body. She is on the... Um, Anson body. So she's on one of the newer doll zone bodies. What she's missing is the um, mobility joint here, which came out on the newest newest body they have. But it has the um, shapely hips and everything, and which basically she is stretching the crap out of these. <laughs> but they're hers anyway, so she can do as she pleases. But it's just funny because her 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 hips and butt are just ginormous and I love it but it's just funny but um it's amazing like how delicate and poseable this body is and that how I just wasn't noticing that because I that whole order to me felt like a disappointment and in reality I wish I'd paid more attention to her from the beginning but I guess, you know, it has to happen sometimes and sometime. <laughs> and now I'm really glad that I have paid this attention to her. And I'm actually kind of glad I waited. I'm kind of glad I waited until I had a definite persona for her. Because before I, I tried, I kept trying to like shove her into different ideas of what I wanted because I felt, you know, kind of unsatisfied with her. But I'm very glad that I got a solid grasp of her and went with it and now I'm just I'm just super pleased with her right now <laughs> so I guess things you know sometimes work out um, even if it takes a long long while for them to work out so yeah I will stop rambling about her especially but both of them now um, her clothes should hopefully her dress should hopefully be in by hopefully at the latest next weekend. The reason why I say next weekend is because I'll probably ha it'll probably come next week, but I'll have to pick it up because I I won't be home. We shall see. 
but that's when I'm hoping it'll be here and then her eyes are in that order the only thing I would need is some sort of stocking situation but I there's not much out there that fits her legs so I'm gonna look around and see what I can think of I mean come up with <laughs> so yeah okay stop I need to stop rambling I'm gonna be posting some pictures of them on my tumblr and then hopefully migrate them over to my Flickr. so if you want to see them better and with hopefully truer to life uh you know go past the those places i'll try and link them below if i remember and yeah that is it thank you so much if you watched this rambly video <laughs> and i'll talk to you guys later bye